Libras, happy birthday and welcome back. Drop your birthdays down below so I can tell you happy birthday. We are doing something a little bit different this week. So Libras, instead of one long reading, we're going to do three, <clears throat> three readings. So be sure to tap in. Welcome back to my channel. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Okay. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, share this video. I upload almost daily, so you'll want to hit the notification bell. Be sure to reach out to me for personal readings. All my email, contact, Instagram, find, follow me, all that's down below in the description box. Be sure to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placement videos for a deeper look at your situation, right? And be, and remember, be member, <laughs> these readings are general, the energy can be vice versa. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Libra family. Oh, excuse me. Shout out to all the Libras and or the cross watchers that are watching in Michigan, especially Detroit in the capital city, Lansing. Let me know where you're watching from. Rep your city or state your country down below. Almost forgot my people. Libras. We got this. Mm, we got the main mail, which will be story number one. Okay. The house. And the courtship in reverse. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll do this like this. We got this main male here. Yeah, we'll use this. No, we won't. Libra, we're going to use this. So who's this main male? What's going on with this main male? Because you could be dealing with this parent currently. <clears throat> could be past. Could even be future. But it's looking like the past. We see the Three of Cups here. It could be a water sign person, Libra. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or somebody definitely reminiscent thinking about the past, wanting to reunite with you. But I'm, I'm definitely getting the sense that this person is worrying about rejection or being rejected. You're not, you're not wanting to hear them out. Definitely somebody who is in a relationship with you. We see this Two of Cups. But this can also be you know a friendship with this Two of Cups. I mean, I'm definitely getting love. We got the three and the two of cups here, which is a five. Now, we're not going to do too much math on this channel now. But that five of cups is somebody's definitely thinking about this. It might be regretting a decision that they made. Oh, more cups. Who's this water sign or this person that has deep feelings for you and you them? Period. This page of cups. Love messages. Ooh, who's hitting up your phone late at night? Talking about what you doing. I'm thinking about you. The Queen of Swords in reverse. Is it an Aries? No, excuse me, an Aquarius. And then we see, oh Lord, the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Libras. There's a brother or a sister from your past. This main male in the reverse. It's in the reverse for a reason. Because they want to come on back home to you. But definitely very worried about being rejected. We see Aquarius energy, but can't be any other air sign. Maybe it's another Libra even. Drop this person's sign down below in the comment section. That's one to come out and break the silence here. And maybe this is silence is because somebody lacked boundaries in the past. Now we see this queen here and this pregnant woman. It could be somebody who had you in a third party. Or it could just be somebody who was distracted by other things. Maybe it was too much party. Maybe maybe that's what it was. A lot of immaturity here. We see this page of cups. We see this page of pentacles here in the reverse, which speaks to breadcrumbing. A small offer. What's underneath? Mm, mm, mm. It's not getting any better. The ten of wands here, or excuse me, or the wheel of fortune, the knight of wands in the reverse underneath this page of pentacles. So somebody's coming in, you know, definitely with the Big pun and Joe, they don't want to be a player anymore energy. Want to close out a certain cycle and with this ace of wands, start something new. We see that this one energy, a do-over, a reset. What's with this three of cups in reverse? What's got this person wanting to come back? Got you, what has this person thinking about you? Let's get into that. Oh, Big Aries energy with the emperor. So was this person married? <clears throat> or is this person now ready, thinking that they're ready? Perpetrating like they're ready for some. Like they're ready for something serious. Like they're looking to be somebody's husband or somebody's actually looking for a husband now or something serious with you. Oh, 
the eight of wands, more of this fire. You don't know I love me a ratchet fire sign. Aries Leo Sag here with this Eight of Wands, but this is some type of block communication. So is it that you've recently blocked this person, Libra, and they're realizing that, oh, I can't get a hold of them? Or is it somebody who, <laughs> they were messing around with somebody, and while they were distracted here with this Three of Cups in the reverse, you pulled away, moved away, ran away, blocked them, and I feel like we're just silent. I get a strong sense that this person really doesn't know where they stand with you. And that may even be the motivation for reading. Mm, see that five of cups? I told y'all. They're regretting. They're feeling bad. They know that they messed up. They know that they've probably been messing up. Because when you get to this point of cutting somebody off and not speaking to them and them, because now you're being inconsistent. Some of y'all, this is matching energy. Some of you, this is just saying enough is enough and just being ready to move on. But they're feeling that full court pressure. They're feeling that. This two of cups. Mm -hmm. Five of swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this speaks again to that guilt with that five of cups. We see this person, listen, in the cuffs. Them boys hauling him off. This lion, this lion, this cheetah here with these three swords in it, a betrayal, a heartbreak. This lion here, hiding in the background, bushes watching everything go down. This is a defeat. This is somebody who doesn't want to take a loss, but knowing in the back of their minds that they were doing something wrong. Mm, mm, mm. So what was this defeat, this loss, this thing that they did wrong that they're clearly having to come and defend? And when I say come and defend that, we see this Ace of Swords moment in this Five of Swords, right? With this person coming in, wanting to reach out, say something, explain themselves, maybe even explain the situation. But what's this back here? What aren't you telling me? Still with the lies, huh? Queen of Wands. Hey, Aries, Leo, Sag. We see that Leo energy here. Now we definitely see in that with this queen of wands and we see the snake, the serpent, the devil, temptation. This also being somebody who is very beautiful, attractive and attracting a lot of opportunities and energy her way, right? But this queen of wands is also a mistress. So is that what this was? Somebody was entertaining a third party, Libra. Now they want to come back and entertain you. Maybe it's been a while for some of y'all, and now you're looking good. You got a lot of things happening for you. So they're like, mm, damn, I better go hit up Libra. And then they realize, whoa, I'm blocked. Whoa, I can't find Libra on social media. Yep. Big Gemini Aries energy with this magician in the reverse. The lies, the lies, the lies. Manipulation deception. See, they could have just done right with you, but instead they wanted to play games. They wanted to be distracted over here. That's okay. And that's really the breakdown of this relationship. But this person is wanting a new start with you. They're coming in trying to talk about how they, they want to put in the work, put in the effort, that you have everything that they're looking for in a partner, and probably you vice versa if you're feeling this way about this individual, if they were your main squeeze at some point. These love messages. This page of cups, this new love offer. Because some of y'all are indeed dealing with somebody who is new, not necessarily an old person. <sighs> Libra, damn. We see the seven of cups in reverse illusion, deception. And who's this person reading poetry here in the background? What's that about? They reading you poetry? Oh, they were just sharing a news article? Oh, now they read? Okay. This speaks to illusion and deception, but this is, when we see this in the reverse, this is things being revealed. They're no longer being any illusion or deception. I, also, I Some of y'all, this for some, not all, this person is coming and trying to come clean. Trying to come clean, talking about a relationship, real emotional. Mm. 
And with this cup in his hand like this and this rock, it's almost giving me these love messages being sent out when they're a little messy, like drunk dialing coming in to tell you the truth for some of you. Mm, a long drunk email or a DM. Yep. Libra, your energy here with the justice card in the revert. They're, mm -hmm, they're, feel, they're feeling it. They're feeling it. We see this person wanting to shoot their shot, reaching back out. This justice card moving back. Mm -hmm, the Empress, more Libra, Taurus energy here. But yeah, feeling upside down. Some of them, they may have been distracted by a legal situation that's been showing up lately. And maybe, and you know, that this justice card and this empress being here in the reverse, being separated due to that, whatever that means for you, for some. Others of you, this person might have been attached to a third party, married even with this emperor here and waiting for a divorce to go down. Maybe they lied about their relationship status and that was the reason for the breakdown. And now that things are over or coming to a close, an actual close here. They're wanting to reach out to you and break the silence. But for some, with this justice and this empress in the reverse, this is somebody reaching out, telling you what's going on before they make that move to put certain legal things in motion, wanting to see if they have a place to go before they cut somebody off. This queen of swords in the reverse, mm, the ace of pentacles in the reverse, taking a commitment off of the table. And we see this pregnant woman here in this queen of swords in the reverse. And now we see these two children. So is this somebody, do you have children with this person you haven't been speaking to? Or do they have children with this third party or children are involved in the situation? We also see this eight of pentacles and the six of pentacles heavy on the earth energy now. Um, but this speaks to somebody wanting to make the choice, take some accountability now and put in the work to show you that they're serious and wanting to come back. Because definitely in the past, there was some struggling with, with not putting in their part of, the, with not fulfilling their end of the relationship or putting in the effort, putting in the work to meet you halfway. Definitely a lack of, of accountability here. The Six of Pentacles, which speaks to unfairly given to two, also Libra energy as well as the Earth signs, and then the Six of Swords. This person just really wants to move on to calmer waters with you. But we see there's still some things hidden in the background. And see, there's a this person is ghosting someone else to come towards you, Libra. That's what I'm going to say. We see the Hierophant here, Taurus energy and the Seven of Swords, ghosting, being untrustworthy, a liar, a cheater, a thief. Again, this lion hiding behind somebody, this two-faced in this, this being thirsty. Pay attention. For some of you, this person is really coming in. It's, they want a fresh start, but again, there's still something that they're hiding. Libra, that is reading one. Now we got to get into the second reading, child. The house. Maybe some of you guys are purchasing a home. Maybe this has to do with a home, a household issue. What's going on with this house? Ooh, excuse me. The Seven of Pentacles. An investment. Maybe some of you are actually purchasing a home or selling a home. Making some type of, even even a move here with the Seven of Pentacles. This speaks to an investment, looking at your long-term goals. But we also see this movement here, right? Carrying even some dead weight. But looking at what you've put into a situation versus what you've put getting out of it. Pisces energy with the observer in reverse or the hangman. The Seven of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and excuse me, the Two of Swords, Judgment at the bottom of the deck. So we see 20 twice, 20 here, 20 here. This Two of Swords, there was some confusion, but now, you know, it's whether or not you're going to choose to see this thing. That some, And with the Seven of Wands, this is teasing, taunting. Needing to protect yourself and protect your energy. 
defend yourself against somebody. And it may even be somebody who's immature. This observer, notice all these little eyeballs in the sky. Somebody being blind. It can, this is a card of perspective changing. In the reverse, it can be things becoming stagnant. But this is also letting go of things. And then we see this judgment here. This judgment has to do with secrets coming out, things being, come, things being exposed. But this is also a card of endings and somebody asking or begging for forgiveness. And with somebody having a change in perspective here and some things coming, coming out, it may be both. That somebody was playing games, maybe thinking that they were going to get away with something for, very long, for a long time or for forever. And now people are starting to see, or maybe it's you're starting to see the truth about this person. Underneath the, mm -hmm, ten of, the moon, Pisces, the ten of wands, and the judgment card. Endings, endings, and 20. A home issue, family issue, potentially. And then we see these secrets, hidden agendas, things going on in the dark here. We see in this Ten of Wands, somebody moving in the dark. So is this somebody moving out in the middle of the night, playing games here? Leaving you with the, the rent or the house payment? What? Give me one more for this situation over here. This moon, Ten of Wands, and this judgment. Definitely the straw that breaks the camel's back. Some things coming out that somebody was doing in the dark. Keeping things to their chest. There was some, some truth is getting ready to be revealed. That's what this is. Something that somebody in the family, in the household, was keeping to themselves, doing in the background. Maybe it was how they were making money. A side hustle with the Seven of Pentacles. And the truth about the situation is coming out. And maybe even on the internet. When I see this page of swords, it's somebody watching from a distance. Now, why this can, this can also be, you know, a drive-by, driving past the job, driving past your house, checking up on you. But this is watching somebody from social media, seeing what's going on. Also, being on dating websites. It's very internet-based for me. This internet business, what somebody had going on, this work from home job, whatever, something wasn't what it wasn't what it really was. We see this king of cups here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We see him with this cup out. So it's like there's a lot of potential. There's something here, but this rock. The other side, like the small print. There's something else going on here. And understand that this throne is on water, so it's quickly moving around. And the three of cups here, nine of cups. I'm getting the feeling that somebody was looking for a quick payday here. Being selfish, looking for some type of fast money, feeling good about it, feeling good about something. And now it's starting to blow up. It wasn't what it seemed. You know, it was a it was short-term happiness with this Ten of Cups and this Nine of Cups. Very short-lived. Now they're now it's just a distant memory. With this Three of Cups, looking back at the situation this time. This change in perspective here with this observer in the reverse mm -hmm, has to do with work, finances. Libra, what's going on here? Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Shout out to those of you on the Virgo Libra cusp. But this speaks to work, independence. Um, mm -hmm. Or a lack of independence in work. This Knight of Cups in the reverse and this Seven of Pentacles. So while somebody's doing a whole lot of working, it's almost giving me the vibes of overspending. Like doing flexing for the internet or trying to impress certain people here. Sagittarius energy, temperance in the reverse. Yeah. Operating on borrowed time. Robin, what is it? Borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. Stealing from Peter to pay Paul. This is that. Things being upside down. This is a lack of moderation. This is an overindulgence. This could eat. Mm -hmm. For some people, this is flexing. 
as, and you find it out that that somebody's how they really live isn't really how they're really living. Aquarius energy here with the star. Mm-hmm. The high priestess Pisces again, heavy on the Pisces. Libra. Things are not what they seem. These this is secrets coming out. We see this broken sword, this air energy. Shout out to those. Maybe there's a cross watcher here's on the Aquarius Pisces cusp, or maybe you're dealing with somebody. But this Aquarius, this is wish fulfillment, being in alignment, um, asking for what it is that you want. This is somebody who's going all about it the wrong way. This may be somebody who's out seeking attention and it's costing them. The seven of wands, this being defensive, guarded, playing, you know, because this has to do with this, this is this picture, this card has to do with the story of the little boy who Try, tried to fool death or tried to escape death, but everybody has their day. You know, you can only play so long before you get caught up. The Eight of Pentacles here. More work. Queen of Cups. See, Libra, now they want to come and ask you for help. Somebody needs you to bail them out, Libra. Four of Wands here, Seven of Cups, mm-hmm. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. This is, for a lot of you, this has to do with financial stability. For others of you, this just has to do with somebody going back and forth. And really what I'm getting is they have a pattern or a history of short-term changes and results. It's like there's not a real follow-through when they say they're going to change or do something different. It's like, yeah, they go through the changes, maybe at six months, maybe a year, but they go back to these old habits that are really hurting them in the long term. We see the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. And really, it's these cycles, these repeating cycles of these bad choices, this and really this illusion and deception. It's really, I feel like, trying to impress others that's got this person messed up. And, I, and wanting to smooth things out with you and maybe even reach out to you for some help here with the Six of Swords. And notice, just like in the Seven of Wands, this dark figure cloaked person, somebody, something that's hiding. Ace of Pentacles here. This Ace of Pentacles speaks to new commitments. Could even be a new job offer. We see these children here. Could be children coming in. Could be somebody lying about the, how many children they have, whether or not they have children, what's with all the kids here. We see the two of wands and the seven of swords. Interesting. The five of wands. You can't trust this person. It has, for some of you, it has, has something to do with family and children. The truth around some children, maybe children hidden in the background, children that they're not claiming for whatever reason. But a lack of somebody being trustworthy whether they're a liar, a cheater, a thief here with the seven of swords and this five of pentacles and a, a betrayal and abandonment, the rug being pulled out from underneath someone. We see one, two, three kids, this confusion. And now you see it. There's a lot going on here. And we see this tower moment, the devil and this tennis. Yeah, this for a lot of you, this is an ending. What comes out here, it changes your perspective and you're no longer willing to play with this or this person. Capricorn, Scorpio, Aries here with this tower and the devil. But yeah, it's too much. This person is dealing with a lot. It might even for some of you be addictions, controlling pride and ego issues. But yeah, this is for a lot of you. Somebody's going to be reaching out for some help here. You're getting ready to find out that somebody's not really living the life that they live. Okay? And nothing is as it seems. It's all who they are publicly and what you know about them is totally different than the reality. Libras. Mm, mm, mm. Drop this person's sign down below. And last but not least, we're into this courtship. Now, this courtship, can we see it? Yeah, less glare. What is this courtship situation for Libra? So when I see courtship, 
I'm not thinking in a relationship with, but this may resonate for somebody who's in a relationship. This speaks to dating or just getting to know somebody. Maybe right before you make it Facebook official or post each other on the internet. Okay, okay, okay. Dang. The devil, big Capricorn energy. Drop this person's sign that you're dating down below. The sun here, Leo Sagittarius. Ew. No, I love me a Leo. The five of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The queen of cups here. Mm, mm, mm. And another five with the five of pentacles. An abandonment of betrayal. I feel like this is more the rug being pulled out from underneath you. It's hard to be betrayed by somebody you're just getting to date, right? They shouldn't know you that well. But for some of you in a relationship, maybe that is indeed the case. A betrayal is the issue here that's causing a breakdown or a rift in your relationship. We see the devil here. Could be dealing with, again with the Capricorn, Leo, Sag. We got Taurus on the board. But this speaks to old habits dying hard, a toxic situation. We see the devil being depicted as this, you know, uh, spider-like figure. And we see this web here. I feel like this has to do with lies, things being untruthful, this person not necessarily telling the whole truth about something, and things being illuminated here. Now, while the sun is all positive, it's also a card of things being brought to light. And with this five of swords, can be a loss, can be a defeat, can be a legal situation that you weren't expecting here. But somebody's guilty of something. And what? And if, even if it's not guilty, what's this lion doing here in the bushes? They're hiding something. Even when you look at this man moving forward, we see this sword behind his back uncovered down. What are you hiding, sir? We see this cheetah down here with these three swords. That We know the three of swords is, is a heartbreak. And then we see this nurturing, loving... Scorpio energy can be Pisces cancer as well. But this speaks to somebody being very nurturing, loving, caring, having hope and having faith. Somebody, some of y'all were taken advantage of or did some taking advantage of some people. What's underneath the mm-hmm? Heavy on the earth energy with this knight of pentacles, Virgo energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This speaks to a solid and stable offer. Like I said, being pulled out from underneath you. Mm, mm, mm. More Capricorn energy with the queen of pentacles in the reverse and the three of cups. So who put you in a third party situation? Is it a Capricorn or is the third party a Capricorn? We see this three of cups here speaking to the third party situations. Maybe they meet at the club. Maybe this person, maybe you do music here. But somebody tried to rope a dope you into a third party situation. Mm -hmm. Four of swords here, thinking, analyzing. And they thought exactly about how they were going to do it and what they were doing. This is not an accident. Notice we see this cheetah on this person's back here and this dead cheetah here. Pay attention. It's the same person moving all around, hiding from somebody. For some of you with this queen of pentacles, they may be... This is not... For those of you that you're dating and there's no commitment and they're dating other people. Now, if they lied about it, maybe this is the reading for you. But let's not be delusional. This is somebody who's courting you, acting like it can go be, become a relationship while they're actively in something else with somebody else. How about this? There's somebody else out there that thinks that there's an, they're in a relationship with them. Mm, the magician here, Gemini, Aries. Some things being illuminated, again, about this person being crafty, manipulative, deceptive, but also having all the tools necessary to be a good woman or a good man. But this is how they choose to operate. Mm -hmm. Four of cups in the reverse. For some of you, how this is going to become illuminated, because some haven't experienced this yet, is it's going to start with them being immature and just ignoring you. Oh, this bad, this thing is coming to an end. I, I want to tell you something different. Yeah, Ace of Swords here in the reverse. Lies, betrayal, 
Stop, stop in the communication. This person is definitely going to ignore you and make a lot of excuses as to why they can't get back with you. Leo energy here with the strength card. No, I love me a ratchet lion. Leo, the best. Chef's kiss. But this is a situation where somebody's lacking in the truth about what it is that they're doing behind closed doors, not being able to tame their lust, but also lacking the courage to just come forward and tell you what it is, right? Whatever it is. Because if you're, if you're just dating, for those of you that this is a storyline for you, you haven't lost anything, but hopefully a few weeks, maybe a couple of months. Keep it moving. This five of swords here is this defeat, this loss, or somebody trying to not have it. Mm -hmm, three of swords right there. Now we got the eight of swords, right? Three and five, eight. That's mind games, people. Oh, they was here giving you everything. Now they're pulling away. That's the game. Now you all tied up. Ace of Cups here in the... Yeah, pulling away. Playing the games. And then the Justice card here. And then the turnaround. Then they want to hit your phone up. Wanting to make it right. Now they want to come and tell you the truth. Talk about some things. Mm, bring balance to the situation. But I'm telling you this. King of Wands in the reverse. They're not going to talk about whatever was going on in the background when they were ignoring you or... uh giving you low effort. They're going to just want to move on, act like nothing's changed. And what I'm going to tell you is with this Leo, this fire energy that we see here, this magician all naked in, in the sunlight, this is somebody who's just looking for physical relationships, a, a, a physical situation with you. They're taking advantage of you being kind, loving, Wanting a relationship, maybe even being more attracted to them than they are to you for some, not all. Queen of Cups here. What's more for this Queen of Cups situation? Okay. It's a lot going on. It's a wrap. It is what it is. Ten of Swords here, an ending due to many betrayal, many lies. I feel like this person is a liar, and that's really what catches them up. They, I, it might be lies that catch them up. Then they just get to ignoring you. Yeah. Knight of swords here. More of this air, Gemini, Libra, your energy, Aquarius, and this high priestess lies, secrets, things going on in the background here, but they, but they not trying to walk away. Eight of cups here in the reverse. As long as you allow this person to come back and be in and out, they're going to be in and out. Cause that's, that's what you're allowing. Right? And clearly this person isn't serious. So Libra, watch out for this person that's just here for a good time, not a not a long time. Mm -hmm. A good time, not a long time. Telling them goodbye, doing the walk of shame in the morning. Listen, player energy, Knight of Wands in the reverse. It's Netflix and chill or nothing. Libras, those are your readings for today. Let me know which one resonated for you down below. Rep your city or state. Let me know what your birthday is. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share this. Reach out to me for personal readings. Check your sun, moon, rising, Venus placement videos for a deeper look at your situation. And Libra family, I will be checking in on you soon. Keep it real.